Hello, this is Nathan Webb with a video tutorial on how to rig up a simple leg using inverse kinematics. Let's get started with the joint tool up here in the animation menu set. We'll click on the joint tool, click once for the thigh, once for the knee, once for the ankle, once for the ball of the foot, and once for the toe. Hit enter to complete your joint chain. Let's look in the outliner here and rename those joints. Let's call them thigh, knee, ankle, ball, and toe. If we click those joints and rotate them, you'll see that the leg geometry doesn't move, but the joints do. That's because we haven't bound them yet. So let's bind the geometry to the joints. Pick the leg geometry, then pick the thigh joint, go up to skin, bind skin, smooth bind, collect the max influences to be two, by default it's five, two will be enough, so each vertice will have at max two joints influencing it, hit apply, it should be successful. You can tell that it was successful by picking one of the joints rotating it and the geometry should move with it. So test out the joints, see that it works. It'll apply default skinning which will work for now later on. You can use the paint weight skin tool to adjust it. Now let's get our leg back to its default position so in the next part we'll put IK on the leg so we can easily bend it and also keep the foot on the ground. To bring the foot back to its original position pick one of the joints, go to skin, go to bind pose. In the next step we'll use IK and set up pull vectors for the leg and set up a nice rotation constraint for the foot.